So we are in. We are clowns back in rows. First match went. We are clowns for anybody that's missed it. Let's see what we've got. So the defenders have a similar setup to what they just had. They have five muskets out, a short bow, a pike, three pole axes, three short swords, and the moles. The attackers have now four moles out, two long swords, two short swords, a couple of pole axes, a couple of muskets, a short bow, a jewel blade, and a pike. So let's see what they do. They have a slightly different setup to what they had on the defense. We are clowns. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kicker Man U did not have Pike Militia <laughs> on that last fight. They have at least four. No, they've got four sets of the Kalian Militia out. They have only three sets of Keshigs out as well. Bravovsky, who you think will win? Some Elias guys or our Surfs and, and Woodcut? Who do I think is going to win between Blame Elias and Surf Slayers? Oh. That's difficult, man. That is difficult. Both teams, for, when I've seen both teams, both teams have played exceptionally well. Honestly, I'd have to flip a coin. I honestly couldn't just pick one off the top of my head who I, who I think would win. And there's no, like, like, table reason why, like, before on this, I said that I, I hope Rose win. Because then it, like, keeps the, the, the who's going to win the, the league open. Um, there's none of that between Blame Elias and Surf Slayers. So there's no, like, reason to say, oh, I want that team to win or whatever. It's, I'd have to flip a coin, man. It's so close between those two, I, I honestly couldn't predict. So the attackers are going straight for the gate. Ooh, okay, Rose are actually going to defend A and B. Look, they've got everything down on the gate. They're not going to sally out. Or are they? <gasps> cav rush, I didn't go through their units. They've got a cav rush. Oh, that treb, though. That is a brutal treb. They're pulling everything else back, though. I think they've, they've realized the mistake. They've got, still got out, though. I missed it because I was going through the thing. Look, all of the cavmen. They've just already lost 140 units, though. And that is not bad units. That is really good units as well. Um, they're obviously going to start getting kills off now. There's still a couple of trebs coming in, but they're not really doing much. Obviously, the attackers can get straight in now. So I wouldn't be surprised to see attackers. Dunkle's going to die, though. They've still got cav out there. The attackers are going to start... Like, there's pointless waiting outside. The defenders... Of unit like hero wise, have done a lot more Monteki in the background here as well. They've lost a lot of cav though, so this stuff eventually is going to start slowly dying. So what I was saying though, sallying out on this map can be brutal because the the def uh, sorry the attackers start so close to the gate that they can react to it really well. And um, as soon as that gate opened, man, the attackers had the first treb down before the animation for the gate had even stopped. So balls is climbing up the back wall there. The attackers are going to have easy bear push this, surely. If the attackers want to go in here, they could have gone in already. They've got Outriders doing a little bit of damage. They really need to get some Fort Brachia or something down here, man. Kicker Ghost, Man U is better than Chelsea. Wait, Man U is a bigger pilot turd than Chelsea. And Chelsea is a bigger pilot turd than Liverpool. And Liverpool's a bigger pilot turd than Man City. Is that, is that what you're trying to say, Ghost? But then... Kicker Ghost, DE Germany, which would mean that Bayern Munich or the Bayern München are a bigger pile of shit than Man U. I'm, I think my train of thought's correct and this is what you're saying. <laughs> right, so the attackers are in. Let's have a look at the, the scores, man. So the defenders lost 220 to the attackers 170. So, I mean, it was a good idea. They committed to it as well, but... It isn't going to pay off. So Winkrow's just jumped into the back. He's gonna, obviously going to die. Uh, Tempo Shot's going to get up onto the point and start putting pressure on it. He's got Shizzy up here to already start annoying him, though. If he jumps off his horse, Man U's going to get him. It's GG. They're going to get A. They've still got Cav running around in the background, man. Like, they've obviously used a hell of a lot of Cav. They used the full, or lost the full unit set, pretty much. Rose. Um, but the amount of Cav that they've got out... Looking like all of the pike support that the attackers have, it's going to be rough to deal with. Uh, Shizzy's up there, Smexy's there, or King Smexy's there to, to counter him. Got Iron Reapers on the floor, some Namcams down here as well to get some bleed damage off. They're going to get A. We are clowns are taking the time now. They've got Reapers to keep pushing these back, but with four muskets, man, if they start bombing this, that's going to be rough. Um... But with their, I say that with the amount of heroes, it's fine. Especially with the moles, man. If their moles can jump into the muskets and pick them up and drag them off, that's 
that's going to be bad times for Rose. This is the main push coming from here from We Are Clowns. So it looks like they're going to ignore B for now. And it looks like they're maybe going to go back stairs, this stairs, and get the resupply. Because there's still a lot of cavalry in this corner here. They can maybe get a Treb in this back corner. I think that can... That might actually be Treb safe. Maybe like one or two Trebs will get through, but it's not, not going to do loads of work. So the attackers have got three sets of Zakali. No, four sets of Zakalian, sorry. They've got Namcams on the back wall, which are just going to constantly put in bleed down on this stuff. They've obviously got the heroes here just out of the way. Putting pressure up on the resupply so they can't get their units. Um, nothing's going for B, although Temple Shot just had a look. He was probably just having a look what was back here and then seeing Bondit with his Keshig, I believe. So more and more heroes are filtering onto the resupply. Clowns are going to get control of the top of the wall. Obviously, if they get to this position here, they can... The Kaylee Militia all of this here. They try to treb. I think it's going to get... Oh, I think they treb their own stuff there. They did as well. They just killed a couple of their own Zakalian Militia, I believe. There's a fight going on down here, but it's just hero on hero. Although, Khan's going to move his Forters in. Forters on V attack there. Oh, saying that though against Iron Reapers, that might not be a good idea. All right, he's just bracing. Bracing. Rose could still do work here though, pulling around there with Keshig and killing a couple of the heroes. They've got pikes on the wall though, so he'd be very aware of that. Both teams are dropping a couple of heroes every now and then. Oof, yeah, Monteki just got caught out by a jewel blade, got stunned in place and absolutely ruined. What unit did Monteki have just? Uh, Monteki had Iron Reapers. Okay. I mean, this is completely different strat. Sally Out didn't go. Quite to plan, I don't think. I think they would have liked to get a lot more damage done uh, for the units that they lost. But they're definitely doing work at the minute. They're definitely stalling We Are Clowns. I think We Are Clowns are going to go for B now, though. Look at it. And that man you just jumped off the wall. I think they've decided we need the resupply. We need to stop them getting ammo. The fight's going to be down here. But with these Akali Militia up here, man, it's going to do work. Amir's just got te taken another head. There they go. We are clans just jumping into the back of the units. They've got units pushing through the gate now. Everything's getting pulled off the wall. They have the Namcams constantly putting bleed damage on. I'm going to try and get an angle like this. The main fight's in here. Can't quite see what's going on. The flames here from the defenders are doing work. The attacking Zakalian, though, should be bombing them. Or is there like a bigger blob there? Oh, there's a bigger blob here to hit. Okay. So the defenders have dropped five heroes, the attackers have dropped two. Bondit's going around with his unit, uh, yeah, he's, he's got a couple of Keshigs left. So he's going to try and get into the back lines and kill some of the We Are Clowns here. Wincrow just killed Hawk, the defenders just got ruined, man, they have to pull back. They have to pull back and they have to pull back now. If the attackers notice that like half the defending team's down and get through this gatehouse already, getting into a strong position here, the defender's going to struggle getting reset back up, man. That is absolutely... Brutal. Barbarossa, how are you doing, bud? Holy, was that a bad joke? <laughs> I'm full of bad jokes, my dude. Welcome. You'll learn this very quickly. I, I have always bad jokes. I'm the best at bad jokes. <laughs> right, so the defenders have got most of their dudes back in now. Um, they're getting set up on the end point. They're doing a similar setup to what we are clans are doing but with more stuff in this back corner here um honestly seeing what how we are clans did it we are clans method of doing it was better <laughs> because just not allowing them to get through the the archways always good if they set up like do the traditional setup they obviously can't take mortars though so it's not going to be like mega easy but um they've got a wider front here to defend against which is going to be rough they've obviously got their stuff on the back here stopping stuff climbing I won't be surprised if we are clans go through the back here though. With with like a, a fairly big push. If they did it quick enough as well, they could get through here. Obviously you got Hawk in the background there with I think that's Keshigs. Double check. Hawk has Keshigs out, so he can obviously do work, but if enough push that way there, they aren't gonna do all. Well. Right. What have these boys got up? So the defenders have got a set of flamers, they've got um houndsmen out as well, palace guards, they've got banner guards as well. One unit of Keshigs in the background, Fort Abrakio. Fort Abrakio, a lot of people sleep on this. S widespread Fort Abrakio embrace are absolutely brutal. I'm going to assume the flames are in the corner here. Can't see them, there's... Oh, there's a charge. Oh, there we go. Did I not say it? Did I not say that 
they'll probably come this way. These cannot push off the end point because as soon as they do, they're going to get annihilated. So what they have to do is, is wait for them to push this way and then get into a position to hit them up. And what we our clans have done here is huge, right? The main defensive setup is going to be here now for Rose. And that is all trebable. So all they need to do is, is get a hero up on the wall here, put a treb down. Just They don't even have to push through. They just have to keep their stuff here and put pressure on. These guys can't move because they'll just get insta-counted and annihilated. And all they have to do is, is one by one, here we go. They've used uh, only three trebs. What they're going to do is just start trebbing stuff down here. Watch. You'll see the trebs coming in in a second now. I would be surprised if we didn't see trebs. They've got control of this resupply, so they can constantly keep their uh, their heroes healed. Honestly, what might not be a bad idea... I was saying that is nothing you can hit. I was going to say if Hawk maybe went round, but there's literally nothing for him to hit, apart from these palace guards here. I was like, no. Palace guards? Was that shield maiden? Palace guards. I was going to say, I thought I recognised the turbo slugs. Or the battle slugs. Still no trebs going down. I think what they try to do is, though, by putting pressure on up here... They're making rows count, and this is... They can still treb this as well. Namcam's here are going to do work. There's no, still no trebs going off, though. Kaylee Militia are going to do work against that. Point blank, the Kaylee Militia firebombs as well. Rose have got the advantage there. I think they just tried sallying through with some Keshigs and got wiped. There's the treb. And not many are going to hit. Obviously, this whole right and uh, left-hand side from this point of view is going to hit this and not do it that actually went too far and hit their own unit. That's rough. And all of them missed as well, so... But here are we are clowns. They've recircled back around. That is interesting. I don't understand why they didn't put more pressure on in. Treb this. These guys are going for the flamers, look. And the... Uh, the houndsman, there he is. Bolty just jumped straight on them. Big push coming in here. They're getting hit by... Fla They're getting hit by everything. There's the treb. Not many units back there, but it definitely did work. We are clans are pushing through, though. They've still got a couple of Fort Abrachios stopping them, but Palace Guards with their DC immunity are going to do very well against uh, Fort Abrachio. Sorry. A couple of Flames still up, but We Are Clowns are clearing those up right as we speak. Um, they've got the units. They've got their own Flames doing work. They can start trebbing the resupply from Rose's defense. Obviously, Rose can still try and push through the back here. Although, Amya's countering it already with his Keshe, because he's going to stop anything pushing around. Get in behind this if he can and clear it all. So, they're going to just counter each other, but that means that they can't counter the rest of them. So, Amya did work there, man. Maybe he ain't going to get the unit kills that we maybe like, but he's he's done enough to stop the, the resupply getting in. There's another very good Treb. Amya's managed to get through as well, the sneaky little bugger. Uh, as soon as fire's off, yeah, they're coming through a cav now, but they've got good enough units, there's enough to slow down the cav. They've got monast uh, monastics, they've got Madao in the way, sorry. Didn't quite get braced, but the defenders are down to five heroes only, so they're struggling. They've got the back backsides completely covered by Fort Abrachio. Uh Maybe it would be better if they moved them back like a meter or two, so like in between the buildings, but that's literally just, that's that's pettiness. That's like a minimal mistake. They're, they're, they're getting the work done. Improbus is going to get killed in a second. He's probably going to get picked up by a mall and just thrown off the thing and murk. Um, they're blocking. They're just literally sending their units in to block the archway. Defenders have got three guys. There's nothing much that they can do without units. They're going to try pushing through now, but look at this lobby here. They're not getting The Iron Reapers, there's Madal, there's Persios, I believe. That Treb's going to hit their own, own units. There you go, GG. So Clowns win, 2-0. Exceptionally well done from the Clowns. This time it was Wincrow for the MVP for, for We Are Clowns. 169 units killed, man. Rough. 61 of those were Armigers. So I assume he had the Pike units and possibly the first Treb that went down right at the beginning of the battle to get that many kills straight off the bat. 28 Keshigs as well. Brutal, brutal play, man. Absolutely did work. Bolthy as well was doing well. Honestly, shout out to Amya here. 13, 13 heroes killed. And that last charge he did with his Keshigs at the back where he's like, they need to be careful that they don't get flanked here. He didn't get that many unit kills. He might have got a couple of heroes. I wasn't really paying attention to that. But the fact that he was there and he completely 
completely stomped out any chance that Rose could have had to flank in the back lines was huge. And then he managed to get away as well. He didn't even die when he did it. That's just cheap. That shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> Absolutely good job to those people though. Man Yu as well. Fourth best on his team. So he's been consistently good. He's loving it. Very well played man from, from We Are Clown. Excellent plan. Well, it looks scrappy though. Like Rose's Rose's defense, I don't think they were quite expecting it. This Sally out didn't go as well as they would have liked to, I don't think. Um, I said it at the beginning of the last fight. Sallying out there is difficult. Like the, the, the attackers just start too close to the walls, in my opinion. Uh, and they managed to just, they had enough heroes there to like belly flop. They, as soon as the door started opening, they instantly trebbed it. Um, they just managed to snuff it out before anything could really get going. Nice try though. Um, if we are clowns that have been slightly more hesitant, they might have been able to get out and do more work, but obviously they didn't. Um, and they managed to stomp that Sally out, out pretty strongly. So impromptus as well. MVP for Rose. Uh, 68 unit kills, 6 assists, 3 heroes. He got couple, quite a few Keshigs. 14 Namcams. A decent, decent set out, man. He did pretty good. Obviously, they got they got hammered though. Man. Like both both matches went, I think, pretty much how how uh, we are clowns would have wanted them to go. That was that was impressive. I enjoyed watching that. I really enjoyed watching that. Um, couple of standout players, man, for both teams. Very well, well, very well thought out plans. I don't know who does the plans for we are clowns, but very well thought out. Extremely well executed. A couple of players just absolutely rocking it today. Another shout out to King, uh, King Kicker Man U, sorry, Kicker Winkro. And Amya as well. Amya did work, man. Like 13 heroes is mental. Absolutely mental. Kicker Bolthy, he didn't even die. What the hell? I sent his long sword. Doesn't count. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Let's have a look at the uh, post battle an analysis. Yes, yeah, so you see them where they, 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 they popped out. Let me get rid of. Can I get rid of blue? No, okay. but it's going into the middle so you can see a lot of them died right at the gates so that was that initial treb that hit them um a couple of the, the heroes obviously managed to belly flop and just slow them down i think there's like madao like almost straight away there are ipg doesn't so most of them got killed as soon as they got out um they didn't lose oh, that's just... wait what oh there we go yes yeah, so they literally lost most of it at the gate um the attackers Right, that is the attackers. I was, I was confused then because it looked like where the dots and that were didn't quite make sense. They lost quite a bit at the gate as well. But obviously the, they were, had the slight unit advantage from that initial engagement. And obviously cavalry were, were a lot of smaller unit sizes as well. So the, the Sally Out basically lost all of their units when they did that. But like I said, it was a it was a good good attempt, good try. They was probably hoping to just catch them out because it is more difficult to Sally Out on the Iraq. Good fight to both teams though, man.